but I came to the realization right. that this is going to be a lifestyle probably for the next year and a half. And if it doesn't happen to be a year and a half and it's quicker than that, good. But mentally, in my brain, it's at least a year and a half and I'm all right with it. And, you know, all I've been trying to do is look for the safest ways to still function, you know? And the innovations that are happening are you could get these tests at home and instead of going in your nose, you could spit. And that's what it's going to have to be about, having a very close circle and keeping your circle tested. And that's it. But you still have to be productive, you know. All right. I've had some um, different situations that are being put in front of me that are different. And I've been dealing with them, I think, um, without too much collateral damage. I'm learning a lot about myself. You know, my birthday was last week. And you reflect a lot. You know, I, I look at my life and every time I'm like, damn, I've had, I'm having so much fun every second. It, it's almost like it's a dream, you know? And then when I wake up and I look at my environment and the way I'm living and, you know, my, my temperament, I mean, it's a dream. So. Well let's, I mean, well, let's talk about that. I mean, you're somebody that I guess from the outside looking in, you know, you, you probably you probably had some eventful birthdays, you know what I'm saying, in your life, uh, just through the years, I'm sure. Uh, anything about this particular birthday that passed that's, that's a little different for us? Well, you know, obviously we couldn't go outside, so there wasn't a, 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 a formal celebration, but I was actually able to connect with more people that I care about directly in this time than I ever was because I was doing the Zooms with my family and the Zooms with my friends. And again, uh, my daughters came through. I was just really happy, you know? Well, that's what I mean. Not so much, not so much the quarantine aspect of it, but just where you're at in life. Like, you know what I'm saying? Was anything different about that? You know what I mean? that I, I, honestly, every birthday, I'm happy, you know? Every birthday, I reflect on that year, and I like where I'm at, I like what I've done, I like how I feel, you know? Like, I just, when I look at other people's lives, I just think it would be an injustice for me ever not to think that I have the, the best life in the world. You know what I mean? It's like, People are out there suffering. People are hungry. People are sick. People have to stay in the house. People have little, you know, people have to go to work. Like all the things that I'm against, people are actually living. I don't have to live that, you know? And I'm healthy. And I laugh every day. And I just, I just don't see how I could not, I think it would be an injustice to the life that I fought for not to marinate and enjoy it every second of it because I know how bad it could be. You know what I mean? And then the yeah. fact that I have a promising future, like my present feels good and I'm looking forward to my future. You know, everything that I've invested in is now realizing itself. It's like putting a seed in a pot, like the lemon tree out there. We've been growing that shit for like three years. That shit is barely a plant. Oh shit. You know what I mean? takes a minute to watch some shit grow, but the fruits, when they come, they taste good. And it's taken a minute to grow this tree and to be at a place of sustainability to where it can only get better, to even to the extent that I'm doing so well that I don't have to make moves for perception at all. Like, I have to make some moves where I want to downsize. Like, my ego is like, oh, but you're not gonna have a big spot. I'm like, yo, ain't nobody in the spot. I can actually downsize, make more money, have more margin. If I'm not worried, and I'm not, I have no concern about my ego. I'm like, fuck my ego. I'd rather put that money into something else. I love where I'm at in my relationship with Raquel, you know? And, 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 and how far we've come the, these last three months, four months. Like, I'm proud that we went through something that would devastate people for years. And we are shining bright and strong and happy right now and back like we never left. 
and people come to us for strength. We're the strong people. No one even had time to feel sorry for us. And I didn't, I didn't advise anybody to waste energy feeling sorry for us because we don't feel sorry for us. You know what I mean? We, I look forward to showcasing strength. That's what I look forward to, being about everything that I say I'm about. I look forward to that fight. I look forward to that action. You know, now is the time to showcase what I've been training for, whether it's life lessons, war, anything I've been talking about. I've actually been able to showcase that I'm actually doing what I'm saying. I'm, I'm walking that talk. And the things are yielding the way I told people they would. You know, I'm looking at the whole industry well, trying to do what I've been telling people to do for the last 10 years. And I got the illest head start of all time, the, the content, the, the streaming services. Now everybody trying. And I'm so far know, ahead of the game. I'm like this, by the pool, chilling in the Versace boat. Yeah, it's interesting, you know, it's interesting, you, you know, you bring that up because um, earlier today I had posted something I had seen um, on the internet. It was an interview between uh, Joe Buttons and Big Sean. And uh, Joe Buttons had asked him about what he thought about the labels providing therapy. And, and it took me back because I was like, that's a conversation that we had a while ago. You know what I'm saying? It's things that we've been talking about. You know what I'm saying? As far as the mental health, you know, bringing that to the light and everything, you know, I mean, I'm glad that the light bulb is finally going off for everybody. You know what I'm saying? But um, it's something that we have been putting a lot of work into, you know. Thank you. Welcome, welcome to the club. It's going to happen a lot more. Yeah. See, the purpose of being first is not to get the credit for it. It's for it to be contagious. So right. we set a precedent for people to say, if you're talking about anything other than this, you, you're, you're gonna sound like an idiot. We're telling them what to talk about. I don't wanna talk to the masses. I don't speak the masses language. I don't talk in slave, I only talk in boss. So sometimes we need someone that speaks their language to say the message so they can understand it. I'm all right with it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no, I have to. Me yeah. too. It's just, like I said, it goes to the point of what you were saying, you know, mm -hmm. uh, as far as, having been on that positive path. Absolutely. Kind of, you know, teaching these things, you know what I'm saying? You know, the world is catching on, which I'm, you know, yeah, I'm on mental health for everybody, so. I was just taking you know, that I'm, moment to bring awareness to that. Yeah, no, nah, absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Um, what do you think of like, you know, what do you think of some of the things? Have you been seeing these protests going on? These people protesting the quarantine? Have you yeah. been seeing that? Yeah. What's your thoughts about that? Because I know, you know, you talk to senators and, you know, you talk to different politicians and things like that. What do you think about that? I hope they don't die. Like, I do believe people should be able to make a choice, but um, they shouldn't be able to hurt other people. So the reason why the choice is made is because you could be contagious. It's not like you're just choosing to get killed and it's not going to go to anyone else. You feel what I'm saying? Right. This is not a situation where right. it's like, yo, just wear a condom and you're going to be all right. Nah, you don't know, you know what I mean? Somebody sneeze on you, you're a rat, you know what I mean? So, or whatever, be, you know, all type of things. You're just contagious, you bring it home, you can knock out a whole family, an important yeah. family. All families yeah, and, that, yeah. and, that bring, and, that, and that's part of mental health, too, is considering outside of yourself, you know what I'm saying? Which is, which is why I ask that, you know, that's an interesting interpretation you have. I mean, because, you know, I was having a conversation about it earlier, and I said that it's not really about the quarantine, you know, with these people that are protesting, it's not really about the quarantine and the virus itself. You know, it, they're, they're, they're thinking that they're going through something that us as, as, as black folks and as people of color being going through, they feel like their little privilege is kind of being trampled on. So it becomes more about their right, like you said, to have a choice to say, well, I, if I want to risk dying to make them a dollar, then that's my choice. I feel like it's more about privilege being threatened than it is the actual virus. Exactly. You know well, like I said, I got other shit to fight about. You know? And, and yeah. I think right now no one's really stopping anybody from doing something privately. You know what I mean? Like, they're not stopping people in the street unless they're hanging out loitering. But if you're going to point A to point B, and you're doing things in a safe way, you can still function. 
So yeah, absolutely. no one's stopping anybody from going outside and protesting. So what's stopping you from going outside and working? I just think people sometimes look for a reason to bring their guns out. And, you know, yeah. it just makes them feel better. But again, I'm, if that's the I'm thing scared. that makes you happy and gives you joy, then you got to look at your life. I mean, I think it speaks to the fact that, you know, what we preach in, in mental health as far as being able to adapt. And, you know, a lot of these people are having trouble doing that. You know, one thing that I like that you've shown is the ability to adapt. You know, that's a good sign of mental health. You know, being able to accept your environment, so so, so to speak, in that case. You know what I'm saying? I mean, to me, it's just logical, you know? Yeah. I think business right. and, and doing business, when you apply your business emotions sometimes to life, it's like, Bottom line is you're only supposed to do what yields, you know? Because it might feel good in a moment, or you might escape a moment, but at the end of the day, you know you're going to feel bad. The end result is your company goes out of business. You go out of business. It doesn't generate, it doesn't yield. And if it doesn't yield for me, I'm not doing it. I'm just going to do what's going to make sure my future looks good. Like one minute. thing you said, yeah, one thing you had said earlier is not doing things for perception. And I like that, you know. Um, but the one thing that I do like that I've been seeing from you is like the family stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yesterday, like you had the birthday party. Mm-hmm. Want to talk about that a little bit? I mean, today's my daughter's birthday, Tallulah, yeah. and she's at that age. You know, she's 12. She can make her own decisions. I'm not going to make her do anything she doesn't want to do to make me happy. So she was right. like, Daddy, can we celebrate my birthday with you the day before, which was yesterday, and I could do it with Mommy and my sister tomorrow? And I was like, cool, I'm good with it. So she came through. We did her makeup, had a little party, painted a sign which she appreciated, had a little party, you know, ate the, the, the dinner she wanted to eat, completely made sure she was the center of the attention every second, which she loved, had gifts to open, gave speeches, and then I took her home, no stress, you know. You know, this is my last year, this is the last year my daughter's not going to be a teenager, you know, so I already know she's not the little baby anymore, and I know that I had, I took every, I, I appreciated every second that she was a little baby. And, and that she was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Now she's 12. Every year prior to that, every year I was like, I know you're going to get older so fast. So I'm going to make sure every second I get, I'll fight to make sure I see you when you can't make your own decisions. Right, 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 right. And I mean, the I one thing I, I, did, right, I, I did like is that you was able to like, you know, it shows that you're able to step away from the business and just be all about family. Like, when I saw that, I could tell that you weren't thinking about nothing else besides, you know, yeah. making that a good a good time for her and for yourself. You know what I mean? Because there's certain times where that business and all the shit that we kind of stress about don't matter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, it was good to see you enjoying that. And Rocky had a ball, too. You, you don't even understand how much Rocky enjoyed. It was like it was her party. She loved it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. She loved it. Yeah. Oh man, that's good. That's good. And again, you know, you know, just with uh, you know, I think last week when you when you had uh, you know, when you had other daughter come through and you had, you know, I've been seeing a lot more of the family. You know what I'm saying? And I think the public's been seeing that. You know, and I know you don't do things for perception, but I think it's good that you're doing that so people can see that some of the you know some of the false narratives are you know a bunch of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Real. Yeah. And it's good for you. So, Absolutely. You know, I mean, that's what it's all about, man. If it's all for family, you know? Yeah. That's another absolutely. thing. I, I know that the first 12 years of her life, she definitely didn't have any of the same problems that I had. Yeah. You know? No, that's true. You know, and, she's, and she's, she's like, you know, she has, around that teenage, you get that adult brain and you can do things for yourself. But while she couldn't do things for herself, she was heavily protected. Right, right. I got, I got, uh, I guarded her energy. I think very well. And I'm yeah, going to nah, continue, to, I'm how continue how to do so. so. Yeah, no, nah, no doubt. Uh, 
anything is there anything that that you see yourself wanting to improve still with the, like oh with some of the things you may deal with involving your your own mental health or some of your own day-to-day is there anything that you are still working on that you can actively look at and say yeah i'm still working on this or you know anything like that um i'm working on focusing still you know i still have a lot to do and i have to prioritize my focus you know what I mean? What do you, nah, definitely. Like, what do you think is like, what do you think gets in the way of that? Just what inspires me in the moment, you know? So if something inspires me in the moment, it gets full attention, but then it takes something, it takes attention from something I should be completing that might actually generate me more income more immediately. But I just go what makes me feel good in that moment a lot, and I'll be like, I gotta, I gotta focus. All right, all right. Have you been taking steps to like improve that? Yeah, I had to hang up the whiteboard today in the theater. The, the whiteboard keeps me focused. I got to write everything down. That's and what I was going to say right there. I knew you was on it. Yeah, so, so I write it down. I've been writing shit down. And, and like, Rocky was reminding me how, how much more focused I was when I was younger, like when she had to go through. But it was intense back then for me. I was just like, I had, that's when a lot of my plans were just thoughts as opposed to things that have realized themselves already. And it was just more urgent for me to get, you know, shit done. But um, I am going back to every morning before I do anything, getting on that whiteboard and looking at what I didn't do the day before. So yesterday I had a filled whiteboard with shit I was supposed to do. And literally only two things were crossed out. <laughs> I mean, but you, I mean, you were celebrating your daughter's birthday, so. That was the pass, I, that was the pass I gave myself and everyone around me. Yeah, exactly. But I did realize that, and I was able to adjust everything else accordingly because of it. So, you know, yeah. I do suggest people do the whiteboard and look at that shit every day. Not once. Right, that's a week, every day. Yeah. Absolutely. That's, the, that's one of the best things you can do for that issue. Uh, like, do you find yourself, even like when, as, as you're focusing on something, because I know your life is very, I'm not going to say full of distances, to like, isolate your circle pretty well, you know? But when you're working on something and then that idea comes, how do you work on staying focused on what you're doing in the moment? It's, it's, it's how it makes me feel. But also, um, I have to put my phone away completely. What? It's, 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 the, it's the thing that makes me unfocused is other people have other things that they have to do. So, you know, I'm also a big piece of a lot of other people's puzzles. So I have to make sure I'm available. But that's the life I've chosen. You know what I mean? That's my job as the chairman of the board. Or else I wouldn't be the chairman. So... I know I'm a little less normal than most or else, you know, I wouldn't have certain things and certain tests wouldn't be put in front of me. And because I feel I passed those tests, it makes me know that I could pass more. You know what I mean? So I'm I'm always looking for more tests. Yeah, I think you said, I think you said an important thing is that you put your phone down, you know, which is something that... You know, I tell my clients and I tell people all the time that they should kind of get in the habit of doing sometimes putting the phone down, you it's know, like, focusing on the present and the things around you. It's like, you know what I mean? It's like when you work out, you don't answer the phone. Exactly. Exactly. You know, so I know it's a, it's a crazy balance. You got to, you know, you got to ride being, you know, like you said, the chairman, but then also, you know, self-care like we always talk about because... A chairman don't do no self care. He ain't a chairman of nobody, including himself. Yeah, that's why I make sure I work out every day. I make sure I eat right. I make sure I lay by the pool. A certain time, you know, I make sure I get my weed. You know, I do a lot, but I do it under my own, you know, condition. I I have a bubble that I've architected very well. So things are pretty smooth. Like, you know, me talking to you right now is fairly simple. You know, yeah. I, it's, it's nothing. And 
I can do two or three or four of these a day, you know, and as well as and you, I see that you do too. I see you be you be in a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, what's some of that stuff that you've been doing? As far as I know, you've been on a you've been talking about different type of business and things like that on these, you know, on on the meetings and stuff. What kind of stuff you've been working on with that? Well, number one, you know, I've been kicking it with the senator, and he's had some issues. And when he talks to me about him, it makes me mad. It makes me want to help. So I've been able to bring people in like the bishop and the um, um, off the off uh, school, oh geez, or school. You know, the, or, I always forget the, the whole the whole thing. The, um, the the principles, the sixty principles off. Oh yeah. Off, um, school. Oh, off school grounds. You know what I mean? Off school grounds, O G O G O S G off school yeah, the O S G, you know what I mean? And that's just the O S G having the ability to talk to like seventy or eighty completely highly intelligent people at one time and then talk to a bishop who has, you know, um a whole crew of people that are like-minded that really want to aggressively learn and apply and then like having these senators and just all these different people that are about this action and having issues and being able to deal with them and being able to empower them and give them a platform you know i feel like i'm, I'm doing this for the purpose and i'm realizing or seeing it realize itself in the physical and in a very easy safe way and it's just funny how things happen and, you know, it's crazy how so many things that I've advised people to do to make their lives easier and they just wouldn't do it. Now they have to do it and they're realizing they should have been did it. If they were to listen to me 10 years ago, you know how far ahead of the game because when you're not like running to a job or being outside, you save a lot of time. A lot of traveling time, go, you know, takes away from your self-care time. Rushing to get from point A to point B and then get back and go there and there. It's, it's not easy to sit down at the table and eat with your family or get to lay by the pool for that 30 minutes, you know, or get that 45 minutes to work out or that other hour to motherfucking just relax and take that nap. All that's in travel and, 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 and bullshit like that. So if you could figure out what you people have, yo, I could do even school. I'm sure people are realizing that doing school over Zoom is just effective, just as if not more effective than going all the way over and flying to another college and being in a campus to go see the same professor that you could see and have the same exact access with over a computer. You know what I mean? Or, or, yeah, I know what you mean, shoot. I'm doing my doctorate right now like that. Like what's really different? I mean, not too much. It's just the physical being in the classroom setting, basically. That's it. And who the fuck needs that if you learn it? Right. I don't know. You know, I like... Well, the only, one thing I do like about it is being around people that ain't a part of, like, this world that we deal in. You know, like, kind of being around, like, normal folks. Yeah, I think that's, that's, like, the only thing I kind of dig about it. That's like saying I'd rather hire people and pay double instead of robots because I like to talk to them. You know what I mean? But for that money, let's say this. Is it worth, uh, if you could pay half and have the same education and not have to go there, would you do it? Yeah, I think we should get, we should have free education like the rest of the country. Yeah, but I'm saying like my, my daughter's not going to go physically to college and she probably going to learn the same thing. The stuff, the stuff that you pay for is the shit that's emotional. It doesn't prepare you for nothing. It's to make you comfortable. It's the shit you enjoy. Like, oh, like really, the only reason why my daughter's mother wanted my daughter to go to college is for her to have the experience. That shit ain't helping you. You go to school to learn. Ain't no other, it ain't summer camp. You feel me, Paul? But some people it is, you know, people live in closed lives, you know, they're not exposed to stuff. Yeah, but then they end up behind, while the others are two, four, four years ahead of you, and more disciplined, and you got to start from scratch with a lot of credit. 
It's true. It's true. You know, it is, you know, like I said, I can't, I guess I can't compare my experiences because I'm a walking outlier in my damn self. So, meaning uh, there's not too many like that I see at school. So I guess I can't really make the comparison or whatever. But, uh, I mean, my, my point, yeah, nah. my point was just that, you know, things are going to change dramatically. And, yeah, no, they have. And people are going to, I'm saying after, people are going to realize they don't have to pay so much to get the same stuff done. And they shouldn't. And they can take that money and put it to other things they enjoy. Absolutely. It, it should be their option. It should be like, do I want to pay $30,000 for the same college experience? Like, I can get the degree or can I put that thirty into some real estate? Yeah. And go party. Right. And are those some of the things that y'all talking about with the senator and the, and the meetings and stuff? The everything e- everything is about what the future holds and just like figuring out how to help the present. So, like, number one, prison reform and the way they're keeping people in there and letting the wrong people out. You know, a lot of people already did their time, did 90% of their time, and then they're going to die on the way out after they did. You know, that's not right. And... You know, I have people that I'm personally, uh, I know I'm personally affected by it. And education <clears throat> and, 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 and health, you know, being diabetic and making sure people are aware of how to keep themselves in control so they're not so susceptible to infection. You know, uh, conversations about technology. You know, I don't know if you've seen, I've been do- talking to certain people about, you know, like holograms and Having motherfuckers appear in your crib so that you can have <laughs> meetings virtually work. Like, you know, I'm just talking a lot about the future. I'm developing movies. I have so many projects going on. You know, I'm, 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 uh, uh, it's interesting being able to have access to a bishop and to a senator and, and to these principals, like to their brains. Just to be able to talk and have like-minded people that have quick brains around me as opposed to always having to like talk in four languages and, and emotion to get people to understand what I'm saying. Just, it, it's, it's, very, it's, it's, it's very refreshing to be around people that are just intelligent. You know, that's why you and I can have conversations because you're not stupid, you're intelligent, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, imagine having a hundred intelligent people talking to each other. Everything someone's saying is smart, non-emotional, logical. You know, people asking questions, but also coming with solutions quickly. You know, yeah. action to me is important. Talking about shit. Yeah. Okay. I think one thing that you do that others don't is, you know, you put action to your words. You know what I'm saying? And, and um, I commend you for that. You know what I mean? Because that's big. You know, even like I said, through this whole quarantine, you know, you're not just talking about talking to a senator. You're talking to a senator. You're not talking about. You know, let me have these meetings on my computer with all these people. You doing it? I mean, you even gamed me up on certain things when it comes to like, you know, the computer. You know, some of the computer networking and doing the meetings and all that. You know what I'm saying? And that's the kind of shit that we need. You know what I'm saying? We need people not to hide the game, but to share the game, especially to the people that can help facilitate that game in the same way that you're doing. It. You know what I'm saying? As far as intellectually speaking. You For know sure. what I mean? Absolutely. Well, a lot of people can't put you on the game because they're not doing it. You know what yeah. I mean? So the whole purpose of having distribution for people seeing me at all is to learn from it. Or well, what do they need to see me for? You know? I'm not going to be on here fronting and stunting. Only thing I'm showcasing is where your brain can get you. You know? Yeah. High controlling your narrative is so easy. What people need to understand is I wasn't giving nothing. I'm first generation. So I'm showing you, if you first generation, ain't nothing stopping you from making the choice to live a certain way. You just gotta do certain things. It's about your narrative. See, the thing I love about America is I can have the life that I have. I wake up and do what I want. I've chosen this life. It was a choice. In America, you can choose whatever life you want. Well, that's the goal. I think that's the goal. I think I, I chose whatever life I wanted. You did. You did. I just want to make your example more the norm than it is. But that's but the point about that is that the only reason why my life 
is what it is was my choice. I yeah, know right about that. I made the choice to stand up and do things different. Yeah. It's there. And not accept and not accept it and not accept it with somebody was just Yeah, like I, I didn't get lucky. People said no, every everybody said no to Jay, everybody said no to Kanye. Yeah, you, you got to remember Jay said no to Kanye. You know? Yeah. You, like yeah. everyone and I still push 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 push. You understand what I'm saying? So oh, yeah. It ain't like I'm like yo. If I could do it, you could do it. Nothing was given to me, so to and me, think, it's a. You don't get enough credit for that. Yeah. Uh, you know, you don't get enough credit for that, man. People talk about all these. You know, you talk about these when you name the billionaires. You know, especially that came from our culture. From what I see, a lot of them came through the through the damn dash gates. You know what I'm saying? So a hundred percent of them did. <laughs> but or at least you know. But my, you know, bottom line is. Again, I really don't do it for credit. I just yeah, do it so right. I, I just do it. I get the credit. It's just about the timing and what you get and how you get the credit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the real billionaire, whoever I really made a billionaire or help, they look out. You understand what I'm saying? They, they, they're not, they're, they, get, they pay the homage they should. They give the proper respect. The ones that pretend to be billionaires don't have it to pay homage. You understand what right. I'm saying? Right. I'm sure they right. would. I'm sure they would if they could. <coughs> and you're absolutely right. You know what I'm saying? You did choose. You chose your path. And I guess I could rephrase it and say that we don't all start from the same <coughs> in our society, which makes stories like that even more great that you... You know, with all that opposition and all that going against you, you're still able to do that. And I think the best example, you know, that you can do is mirror that and show it. You know what I'm saying? Because, again, talking about it is, you know, that's like shooting the shit, you know, but showing people how to do it is, is, is just one thing just you Just living by example. About. But at the end of the day, my whole existence is about helping other people. That's it. I help myself. By helping other people. You know? And that keeps me very happy. It really does. Yeah. Seeing people and make I'm, me happy. Yeah. And I'm happy to see where you I'm happy to see where you at. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh being on this road with you and seeing you kinda knock down some of these barriers, you know, not just socially and financially, but your barriers just within your own mental space. You know what I'm saying? I've seen you knock them down. You feel me, and I and I and I've seen you do it in front of people. So, you know, uh, I'm good. You know, I'm digging the road. You know what I'm saying? You got the Al Capone thing going on. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. I was just watching yeah. Capone in the um in the room. Tom, yeah. you got the news. Yeah. Yo, but look. Yeah. Just think about where I was four months ago. Devastated. Right. Me and my girl. All right. All right. And. Look where we at now, bro. I feel like I know I'm a warrior. You know? That was my ultimate test right there is how I was going to deal with that. And I dealt with it and we moved forward. And what I saw yesterday and everything, where she at right now, how happy she is right now, she's happier now than she was before. The, the, the bad shit happened. Wow. You know? She's more confident now than she's ever been. She's stronger now than she's ever been. You know? Like, she's, she's so proud to go back to that doctor. This, we went to the same doctors. Just to be like, yeah, we ain't thank you. And said thank you for delivering that news. We appreciate you. They, they couldn't, uh, like, what the fuck? What happened? How you, you back here? That quick? Right. Like, we want to... How's, how, how's everything, you know, just on a personal note, it ain't got to be, you know, ain't got to put it out, but I'm just saying everything going cool with that? Super good. So far, so good. Good shit, good shit. I would love to, um, I would love to you know, sometime soon get y'all together again. We ain't did a, uh, we ain't did a couple session in a while, man, you know. Just kind of the people update about, you know, where y'all at, where y'all going, all that kind of shit. We're in a really good place, bro. 
A really good place. I'm really happy. Yeah, no doubt, man. And, oh, and, shit, man. and we have a, we have we have we have a good consistent like. The good part about this is this consistency. You know, like yeah. the dogs know after four thirty that it's time to go for a walk. They're so used to you know. We know when we work out. We know when. Oh, right. It, it's a nice program we're on, you know. Yeah, no, nah, that's real, you know. And you and y'all and y'all made a commitment to yourselves to stay with your, with your therapy, stay with your improvement, and um, you know, being in that mind state prepares you for the test that you know, because the test don't stop. You know, once you get to a place where you're like, yeah, I'm good, that don't mean the test stop. That don't mean the bullshit stop coming. Yo, the test, the that's test, a place to deal with bullshit. The tests get way iller. As you get older, you become more aware and responsible. You know? Yeah. And, and like, I think the ultimate test as a businessman is when you can take advantage of somebody and rob them and give them a fucked up deal and you actually don't. And you actually make them aware that you could but you're like, let me just not rob you. You know what I mean? And that's what it is when you're dealing with younger people at all times. So now that I'm older, you know, people are still around me that are younger. But I have to make sure that I deal with them a lot different. You know, I think, you know, talking to you, you give me some good advice about when you deal with younger people, you have to make sure that your intention is agreed to and clear. You know, right. and and that you're very transparent, and that's and that everything always has to be consensual at all times. And I think that should be the way everyone should live, regardless. You know what I mean? But when you have the, the when you're older, you think, "Am I approaching this right, or am I taking advantage?" And then you have to make sure that your intention is clear, and that. Um, everything that everyone's doing is consensual, and that's what business is. Same thing. It's just yeah, like, absolutely. It's, it's just like absolutely. business. It's just like business. And I'm finding that that's working for me. Yeah, I mean, I think it emphasizes the power of the mind. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you got your mind right, it's funny how your physical environment around you gets right, too. You know what I'm saying? There's a real connection there that I don't think people... You know, they, they may be aware of it, but they don't stay conscious of it day to day. You know what I mean? Where your mental space is, is where you're going to find your environment most of the time. You know what I'm saying? So when you start cleaning up that mental bullshit in your mind, you'll find yourself that the physical bullshit around you starts cleaning up too. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think that's a, that's a great testament to that, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what we need to push to the young people. You know what I mean? It, you know, and that's why I, I chose to take this mental route as far as my contribution to society, my contribution to my people, because, you know, was to go the mental route. Because I feel like without that, it don't matter how many times you protest, it don't matter about legislation. If you ain't got your mind right, ain't nothing going to go right. So. All right. So, you know, let's keep it, keep the conversation. You got your, how's the uh, TV show coming out? You've been putting out episodes. Oh. What's the response oh, been? It's going good. You know what I'm saying? Um, we we organically getting into the into the people. You know what I'm saying? Uh, which is what I like. You know what I mean? Um, we had we've had a great start. You know, uh, shout out to K Day. I was on the morning show last week. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Um, they showed a lot of love. CC and Romeo on the morning show uh, showed a lot of love. You know, uh, they played some of the, some of the interviews. You know, from Healing is Gangster. Um, you know, we're badass, rest in peace. Um, just a lot of love. They showed a lot of love to what we were doing and what, you know, and uh, they gave you a lot of love too for kind of using your platform, you know, to push these things that we need as people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So uh, it's going good. We've had a good start. But again, a lot of people are like, you know, they're, they're, they're telling me, man, it looks like you just just doing it. And I'm just like, man, people don't even know. We just starting, bro. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I'm just being patient. And like I said, I want to do this organically. I don't want this to be like no industry type shit where it's like a flash in the pan or we riding the wave type of shit. 
Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? I want it to be something that lasts. So, you know, it's going good, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's going good. good. That's real good. And a lot of that got, and a lot of that is because of you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, salute. I mean, well, I appreciate your help, bro. You know, let's keep it moving. Yeah. Hey, Nicolette. Yeah. So next week, you know, we get up, we do what we do. You know, you can close it yeah. out. You got it. Yeah. Just for no you, just for the, and you know, you know, you know how to do it. Oh yeah, uh, feeling is gangster. You already know whether it's quarantine or not. You already know. You be gangster. Heal yourself. Heal your mind. Heal the things around you. And stay tuned. New healing is gangster coming soon. All right. Game studios. You already know. How? Yeah. You know, it's funny. Nice. You, know, it's like, you know, it's crazy. Um, this is like complete programming. A lot is like being on like a, a live television network. Just doing all these, doing all these. Uh, what you doing? What you doing? Um, helping her edit something real quick. What's just going on out there? Yeah, so you see I'm staying focused. I'm about to go watch Capone. I'm not going to lie. The movie Capone. Tom Hardy. You're bugging. That shit came out. Mad Movies is coming out. But on TV. Oh, man. Might as well. So, yeah, make sure you stay productive. Make sure you stay focused.